Hey buddy, um, yeah, I'm a little dressed up. It was father-daughter dance tonight, and not to get too much into it, but I ended up being daddy. Um, I normally am when it comes to this. Anywho, so that's why you see the the blazer, which I could probably take off, and the, the earrings and the hat. Um, <sighs> I can't take it off like I wanted to. I wanted to be graceful about it, right? Right. Of uh, this, ah. I'll take the hat off to show you guys. It is one of my thrifted hats. Um, you guys have seen it before. My little kind of like a zebra print. You can wear it this way with the bow in the front or with the bow in the. I call it my Mad Hatter hat. Sabrina picked it out because my skirt is a uh, black and red houndstooth, and I've got the black. So. Um, it was a last minute thing of mommy going. Sometimes daddy's, you know. Anyways. But I'm going to get into that. Boy, is it bright in my room or what? Whoa. Um, <laughs> we've discussed before the light things. Um, we went to Dollar Tree today because I've been working on that. My, um, Harry Potter junk journal. And I wanted to see if they had any washi tape. They did, and I did get what they had. Uh, just in case I don't get somewhere else. And I'll show you guys. So I thought I would just kind of do a haul to show you what we got. Um, I'll going to start with this so in case you want to check it out in your stores. You remember I got the little bunny butts? <laughs> Look at the bunny. They had bunny legs. <laughs> um... My store was almost out of everything Easter, but they had little bunny feet. It was like build your own little bunny. They went in blue and pink. So there's the pink and there's the blue. So these are new to my to me. Um, I don't go to my store every day. And then I got... They've had these before. The eggs and the little, like, egg crate. I'm going to put, I think, on the, in the living room, on the dining room. They're just plastic, little plastic eggs. And let's see, is there anything else in here Easter-wise? Can't see anything else Easter-wise in here. Then, um, oh, I meant to put this in the car. I got this Mentos bubblegum air freshener. And it smells like hubba bubba bubblegum. So I got that. I need to put that back in the car. And... I told you guys I was doing that um, survival kit. Oh my goodness, did you hear there was another Louisiana people stranded for 24 hours on the interstate with no, because of the snow this past day, this past 24 hours. So I'm still trying to get that little survival kit together. So I found these as I was checking out the first aid portable pack. I mean, it's really nothing. It's um two sterile alcohol wipes. Uh, three flex fabric bandages, three, oh, different sizes. Um, so basically six um, band-aids, but different sizes. No, nine, I'm sorry, nine. Nine sterile spot bandages and one sterile waterproof bandage. Uh, first aid portable pack by Kirad. It was right there at the register checking out. So if you're going to put that in that little survival kit for the car. Uh, my, I don't know, I tell you guys everything, so might as well today. My ex-husband basically probably sold all their tools, so I have no tools. So, when I saw this, and these are new, this whole thing with this, um, dollar twenty-five, we're still a dollar, like I said, here in Tennessee. But, their tool bench department, their tool department has just been... I don't want to say off the chain, but it had stuff that I've never seen before and stuff that I need for crafting or whatever, um, for crafting mostly, but I found a utility knife. I mean, they're probably not the best quality, but for things I would use it for, the quality is perfect. And, <laughs> uh, split joint, it says ply, ply, split joint player. No idea what I, what you use them for, but. For a dollar, I figured, might as well have one, you know? 
And then this was a cute little, uh, it's a flathead and a, I can't think of what the other one's called. It, one is a flathead and I can't think of, and this one's got kind of like the four and a little measuring tape, like a keychain measuring tape. I'm thinking about keeping this one in that survival kit in the car, just because, I don't know. And we have screwdrivers here at the house, but I thought that might be something to put in my little kit. Once I get it all together, guys, I will definitely show it to you to give you guys some ideas. Um, Sabrina said she needed more these wipe off boards at school that she needed more wipe off markers probably not the best deal she got three so three dollars for three and then as i was checking out um our state really doesn't do anyways uh mask wise i always like to keep them I don't necessarily wear my mask anymore. I've been fully vaccinated, yada, yada, yada. But I saw these, and I like to keep, you know, in my purse anyways, just in case someone says, well, you need to wear a mask. So I found some, um, it's a Minnie Mouse, a Tigger, and Mickey three-pack fabric mask. Um, it's Concept One Accessories, and it says they're women's age 14 and up. So three for a dollar. And they look like they're good quality. They also had Marvel ones. They had a package of three with the Hulk, uh, Iron Man. And I'm not sure who the other one was in there. Um, but I figured, again, maybe something I'll just stick in that survival box. Again, to have in the car. I did get... Um, I went to my Walgreens. When did I go to Walgreens? Oh, I went to get my booster. And I think I told you guys when I got my booster. Yes, I did. Or it's in a video you guys are going to see. Um, yes, you haven't seen it yet. Um, no. By the time this one goes up, you will have seen it. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, I did get some of those, uh, free masks from the government that they're giving away at Walgreens and CVS and so on. I also got a lighter. I don't smoke. But again, it's something I thought, you know what? I don't have any lighters or matches or anything. And I better, you know, it's by Crocs. I don't know who they are. Don't really particularly care. But it was a dollar, so I thought, yeah, I'll get it. And I'm, you guys are a regular Dollar Tree haul person. You watch a lot of them. Our Dollar Tree's had these since before Christmas, I want to say. Here's the Candyland one. You know, it's just a cardboard. I saw someone open. If I color forms in Hasbro, um, here's so it kind of just shows you. And I'm pretty sure it's about as big as this box is the thing. And then it's all like paper um, pieces. I did see somebody open the Monopoly one. I should actually have gotten another one of these because my nephew's a huge Monopoly person. But, um, the, the Monopoly one was really nice when she opened it for a dollar and the money was paper money, if I remember. I mean, it was really, um, a nice, um, for a dollar. If you guys have anyone, I'm going to have to go pick another one of these up now I think about it and put it away for his birthday for Christmas. It's a funny joke for him. Lately, I've been buying him joke presents for Christmas. But I'm going to take these and, um, frame them. And put them up in our game room in the dollhouse. They had trouble and they have sorry. They have other ones. But those are the ones that I bought. And then um Sabrina, you know, she got her new Lucille baby. And Lucille needed some things. So let's see. Uh I got another one of these for um Tinny's room. And then let's see here. Oh, Sabrina's a mentor for a kindergarten girl in her school, and she wanted to get her, like, um, stickers for rewards, so she picked, we got some My Little Pony stickers for her for that, and then more of those markers she wanted. I got a couple more of these, but these are for, um, our Gecko's tank, his, uh, the ones we had on his tank for, to hold his heater up fell off so we needed another one all right so here we go for lucille baby she got her a bell 
pacifier. She already took some of the stuff out. And she said, unfortunately, the pacifiers are a little too big for her mouth. And then we got our blanket. So, yeah, if you got baby dolls or you have a niece or nephew for, for you know, they got baby dolls. This is a nice, thick blanket. Dollar Tree has cute little baby blankets. And uh, she got her... Let's see. This is basically all... <laughs> oh, I thought she said she already taken up the binky. Oh, okay. Well, here's a Sleeping Beauty binky. The other one was Belle. I don't know if you guys could tell. Let me see. That's kind of... There's the Sleeping Beauty. I'm sure the bell real quick. Just in case you weren't able to see it. I don't know. There's the bell. I'm pretty sure they had other ones. Um, let's see. Baby bottle. Oh, she wanted to get her some bathtub toys. I saw rubber duckies in here. I was like, what the? What's rubber duckies for? So she got her some bath toys. She got her uh, some uh, rattle. The Elmo rattle so she can have a little toy to play with. She also got her... She got some baby wipes. And then we were talking about diapers. And they have like those, you know, the the ones they always have at Dollar Tree. And but they were all too big. So I said, you know what? And she said she hasn't tried it yet. Oh, it's flipped on. These are those bibs. And I told her, I bet if you take the bib. And you kind of go like this and put the legs through. It might fit her as a diaper. Maybe we have to pin it or get somewhere, sew it somehow. But we'll figure it out. But we're going to try to make a diaper out of the little uh, bibs. So she got three of these. She got the, she's, like I said, she's already got stuff she's taken to Lucille. And so we're going to try to make a diaper. Let you know how it goes, because, let's see, I don't have a baby in here, so I'm not really able to see how it would go. It'll probably go better, you know, once you have it on a baby's body, but it would kind of be like that. So, hopefully it'll work, because we still need diapers. And it looks like all she, she got this from here, most of her stuff in this bag, so she has it. And then, um, this is over here. I don't know why. I needed another glue stick. This is the only, and again, I just, anyone who has an ex-husband, anyone who's been in a emotionally, um, not healthy relationship and is starting to has gotten out of that relationship and is starting to move on and has gotten stronger and has found a voice will understand this at least I hope so Sabrina's father and I got into it tonight or today about just I'm not going to get into what we got into but basically him as always not taking responsibility and blaming it on everybody else it's everyone else's fault especially mine um that I could have taken care of something but we're not married I'm not your keeper I'm not responsible for you you're a 30 something year old man you need to take care of it. And unfortunately, because of this, and because of the relationship that we were in, I do have some PTSD issues. And, um, I know this is getting heavy. Basically, I didn't want to go anywhere else. We were at Dollar Tree. I just wanted to, there was a couple things I needed to get to work on the, um, 
junk journal that I'm working on. And that's another thing. We'll get to talk about that in a whole other video. And um, I just wanted to get it and get out. I didn't want to go to another store. I just wanted to get it, get home, eat dinner, get dressed so we could go and she could have fun with her friends at the dance. So I know this probably isn't the best, but I needed a glue stick. And this is the only one my store had was the... Um, I'll let you know how it does. It's a 0.74 ounce... A glue stick by Play School, washable school glue. I mean, it may work perfect. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. There's a glare. I'm trying to get the glare out. Is it getting better? Is that better? A little bit? Okay. So, got a glue stick. I started using, I don't know if anyone has been using the um, charcoal toothpaste or toothpaste with charcoal. And I they had some there, so I figured let me pick it up while they have some. Got some more band-aids. Scooby-Doo. And then I found, I saw this. And it's, and I thought of Courtney. It's a take-along color activity set. Um, the art supply area, my, my Dollar Trees is starting to really get a lot. Anyways, it's Care Bear coloring pages. And I thought that would be cute to color them and hang them up in her room. And, uh, some retro looking 80s Care Bear stickers. Um, lazy, um, lazy Days, if you're watching this, these might be cute for your nephews to, um, Michelle, if you're watching, throw them in like, I don't know if you take a purse, a big purse or like a, a bag of like things in the car for them to do when you go to restaurants or you're out and about. This would be something easy to store and it comes with markers. Uh, there are, I mean, they're just, you know, they're not the greatest markers in the world. But for when you're at the restaurant, trying to keep your child busy, throw this in your purse. And I don't know if Spring got this for herself or if she got it for her. She was picking up squishies and this is probably for her because it's a squishy. She was picking up some squishies. She likes her squishies. Um, this bag is kind of a funny bag. Um, she saw, she got another squishy. I don't, she got a shark. She, she's a squishy kid. She likes the squishy and her, you know, stuff. I won't show you, but she got some, a few of these squeeze and release bops. Um, she wanted to. Hide some of these at Universal when we go. So she got some for herself. And some to hide at Universal. Oh. What is this? I think this is for baby Lucille. Yes, this is for baby Lucille. Did I pay attention? No. <laughs> it's a teether. Oh. Sorry, guys. This is just really bad today, huh? Here's a teether. Put this over here. And then our, our store finally got in. I want a little... I kind of got in the little poppets, or they call them bubble poppers. So, we got the pineapple, and the little crab. And we figured if we don't put these in the dollhouse for the dolls, we'll hide these around Universal also. A little square. Um, so we got a couple of those. And we got these so poppet things. And then I got, they always have these little guys, but I got Forky for Emerson, Kennedy, and um, Christie's room. They don't have a Forky. I don't think they have a Forky. And, oh, and I got this little guy to hide at Universal. They have a whole Minions brew area. So I'm going to hide that in the Minion area. And then I think the rest is kind of craft stuff. This is the last bag. So we're almost done, guys. So I got some of this baker's twine. I think I'm missing a bag. Yes, I am. Sabrina may have it. I got some baker's twine in the brown, orange, and yellow. Again, for these journals I'm planning to do. If they turn out the way I want them, a friend of mine has a craft show at her church in the fall. And if I can get to do them, well, like I've been watching people, I may try to sell some at the craft show. 
So we'll see. Um, I have not bought stickers from Dollar Tree in a long, long time. And my store was, like, I couldn't believe what I saw. Um, and I told you guys, blah, blah, blah. Found these for Sabrina. We talked about it before. She likes the llamas. So I got her those. And look, they're really cute. They got kind of a cardboard feel to them. 3D cardboard feel. And then I like... Let me do it this way. I don't know why, but I like that vintage look. So I'm sorry, guys. I know there's a glare. Uh, if you can see it. Back it up, maybe. Maybe that's better. There we go. So I got that one. I got this one. They had a bunch, but I was good. Michelle, lazy days. I used to, yeah, oh, it's a dollar. I want to grab it. You know, I was good. I was very particular about the ones that I picked up. I'm trying to get it so you guys don't get the glare. Okay, let her, let her in. I had to let the dog in. <laughs> and then I got these that I'm feeling I'm using for my Harry Potter stuff. Journaling the owls. And I saw these, and they reminded me of steampunk. Um, and so they reminded me of kind of, um, again, Harry Potter, Potter World. I am so sorry, guys, for all that blinking. But um, so let's do this. So I was going to show you real quick. So this one here, uh, because I'm actually going to end up doing two of uh, the Harry Potter journals. For our trip that's coming up and our trip that we did in October is the one I'm working on right now. And so we got this one. Um, they're just like pieces of door, you know? I don't know. They just have that whole, like I said, steampunk feel to me. Um, old, they're kind of like a, you know, they aren't real metal, but they look metally. Oh, that one's, you're not getting that good one on that one. There we go. Do it like that. Just right back it up. Okay. And then that one. Um, kind of like, um, I don't know. Uh, corners. There we go. So you're ready. And it says, love, wish, forever, and cherish. Let's pick it a little closer and you can see a little bit. There you go. Anyways, guys. Um, so there's that. Like I said, they do have another bag, but I think Sabrina's got it. And she took all her stuff for the seal. But here's some of the washi tape. And I just, I needed washi tape. They had it. I was there. It'll work. Is it my favorite? No. But, so. Alright guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for this week. And I hope you're all doing well, having a good time. Uh, sorry for, you know what? I'm not sorry. Uh, it's my reality, it's um, my life, and as I told you guys, it's reality with me 100% all the time. Uh, I don't try to hide it. Um, I know it's heavy to talk about, and I'm not going to really, like I said, I'm not going to really get into it, but um, we're surviving. I call myself a domestic survivor. Uh friend gave me that gave us that title uh because she's in the same she's gone through the same thing amazing how many women i've met that have gone when you think you're the only one going through it and how many people god puts in your path for a reason it's true he puts people in your path for a reason and i feel you all you ladies um you young ladies um we may not personally know each other. I consider you, like I said, my YouTube family, my YouTube friends. And I uh, hope I can bring laughter to you every so often, though things may not always be as, as jo juvial, jovial, juvial as um, I may want it to be. But 
we take it day by day and we get through it. And I appreciate you letting me come on and discuss these things with you guys. Um, it helps. Other things I've tried just didn't help. So, on a good note again, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're being kind to yourself and being kind to others. And remember that um, you don't know what someone else is going through. So always, even when it's a stranger, sometimes they can use a smile. So guys, we will see you on the flip side. I promise to all the new people who are watching, I don't know, I am not always a Siri. Watch some of the other videos. I'm, I'm normally a mess. <laughs> so see you on the flip side. Like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye guys.